Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to Cobalt Core, a roguelike deck builder with a persistent narrative kind of similar to how Hades handles it, where you specifically have like a story that is told over the course of multiple runs, and your characters will actually react to it in different ways. Uh, and that includes wins and losses, so I'm kind of curious to see where that goes. So it's made by Rocket Rat Games and published by Brace Yourself Games, who are kind enough to reach out and sponsor this video. And before I go too far, I should mention that Cobalt Core is available on Steam as of today. Uh, so if you follow the link in the description below, you can go pick it up for yourselves. So we're just going to dive into a run. I did a little bit of the tutorial. We've got a crew of three. The rest have to be unlocked, so win a run to unlock Isaac. Win a run with Drake to get Max. And with okay so unfortunately we're probably not going to get access to any of these subsequent characters for this run nor are we going to get access to most of the ships if i get lucky i'll be able to unlock this one uh but we'll see how it goes there's also oh randomized choosing my options and we're going to be playing on hard because that's how we unlock our next ship type Ooh, please choose a boot option so we get a random rare card remove two cards or warp prep with a boss artifact Oh, these are tough. What is my starting deck? Because removing cards is not actually a bad idea, but I don't know. Maybe get rid of, getting rid of like basic block and basic shot might actually be my best thing at the moment. Because I don't know what the boss artifacts look like yet. So yeah, let's remove basic block and basic shots. Because the less cards I have, the more likely we are to draw the good ones. Okay, so this part is weak. It takes more damage from attacks. Oh, that's useful to know. Wait, which part? <laughs> ah, shoot. Uh, let's see. Oh, our cockpit is weak. I see. So I have one shield to start with, as well as one dodge. So I can move to the right and not have to worry about my cockpit taking damage. So it's still going to hit me for two, which is not something I want. We can do lunge to get out of the way, though I'm, I'm pretty sure they will hit the wings if I stick around. So we could do like scramble, really get out of the way. But I think I'm going to do block shot and shield surge. That gives me two temp shields and then one, uh, one permanent shield that I can just keep with me. And then I guess we'll just do a lunge uh, just to shoot them. They'll poke at the wings, but nothing more. I guess I should have saved my dodge, but whatever. Okay, so we've got enemies going to raise their shields and status effect to itself. I've got two basic shots, multi-shot, draw shot. I like stuff like draw shot because uh, it gives me some more options. Nothing particularly stand out here. And the question is, uh, you know what, I'm just going to keep shooting them. Because they're going to be raising their shields anyway. Okay, enemies gained a status. Might want to hover over it to see what it does. Power drive, one damage to all attacks. Okay. So they're a little tougher. Now we could dodge this entirely. It looks like they're pretty hard locked to hitting me in the cockpit. Which I'm not happy about. So let's just make a miss. I don't have any more energy, it's over here. Uh, so if you've seen most standard roguelike deck builders, this is going to be kind of similar. Ooh, we are not in the right spot. All right, there. Now we can hit him. And we'll just do a multi-shot and a draw shot. Not that draw shot helps me too much. We don't have any free cards. Four damage, but they're not angled particularly well. Uh, let's see. Now I do have two shield. I could actually take this on the nose. Let's do Shield Surge, Block Shot. We're just going to tank it, because it does four damage to me, but I can take him out on this round and we don't have to worry about anything. Okay, so Overpower. Adds two damage to all attacks, decreases by one at the end of turn. Exhaust. So that's kind of good, kind of expensive. This increases my max shield by one for the rest of combat and gets me a block, or it can get multi-shot. I like the idea of Pulse Barrier. I do tend to play these games as a bit of a bit of a turtle. Okay. Shall we go up to the mystery? Because we want to go here. These are the elite fights. They usually give us artifacts, which we kind of need. We have one that gives us one shield and evaded the first on our first turn. Uh, I'm curious. It looks like evasion might actually be a pool that I can pull from, which is kind of nice. And then this is another artifact. So we'll be able to get to, it doesn't look like we'll be able to get too many, uh, too many artifacts on a round. I, there aren't going to be a whole lot of opportunities to fight two elite fights back to back or in close proximity. Anyway, detecting a minefield up ahead. Oh wow, with a lot of exploded ships inside. Let's stop and look for cool stuff. We'll probably barely explode it, uh, probably barely explode at all. So we can get, uh, lose one HP, 
gain one artifact of any kind, or lose three, gain one of three. I'm going to go for the options. Let's see what we have. Mo you may remove two cards at repair yards. If you end your turn with more than zero energy, gain a shield, or heal one after each combat. That seems reasonably good. The removing cards might have actually been good if I wanted to go to the repair yard. Now, we don't have a currency system, do we? So, we could go here. Also offers card upgrades and removal. So, let's actually go here. Howdy, how's it going? Oh, you know, same old. What's this, loop 400 or something? 517. Let's get you on your way. So, yeah, we're in a time loop. They blew up the Cobalt Core. Or, they blew up something. And, uh... And are kind of on a mission to reset time over and over and over again. Uh, beyond that, I... I think much of the narrative has yet to play out, so I'm just about as lost as you all are. So I want me to pick a card to upgrade. One of our better ones. Can I see? So we can draw three cards or do two damage. So that's not bad. What about Pulse Barrier? Cost zero or two max shields. Still kind of okay on that one. This one does piercing, so it just goes straight through shields. This one, lunge, flippable in combat. Right click or control click to flip in the direction of its actions. Oh, that's kind of fun. I don't know how much I care about that. So, ooh. Shield Surge. The upgraded version raises my max shields for the rest of combat and gives me two temp shields, which actually is not terrible. Block shots. And then I pretty much don't want to touch basic shots or basic dodge. I could actually make... I could actually make basic dodge, for example, uh, exhaust, which isn't terrible. Ooh, this is tough. I'm leaning for the shield surge. But that does feel like a really bad idea, especially because I don't have a whole lot of major shield gain. Right now, it's mostly temp stuff. Uh, it's tempting to go for bl either block shot or Shield Surge. Because it's, I mean, doing one extra damage ain't terrible. Especially if we've gotten that thing that increased my damage by one. There is also Draw Shot, but we have, like, no energy. So, iffy on that one. So it's really, do we want to tank more? Do we want to increase our tank cap more? Well, considering we only have literally one card that gives me shields, uh, we probably shouldn't go for max shields at the moment. Uh, so when we go for Block Shot, just go up to 1-3. And looks like that's all I got. There's a pirate hailing us. How can you tell they're a pirate? They have a big skull painted on their hull. Huh. Surrender and drop your shields or I'll drop them for you. Um, no. Have it your way. Okay. Objects in the mid row are between you and the enemy ship and can block attacks. They're much weaker than a ship and will be destroyed if they're hit by anything at all. And if this attack hits you, it's going to give you a status. So... I have one dodge. I can get two more. We could potentially one, two, three, just scoot way out of the way. I don't like the idea of statuses particularly much. So, so, pulse barrier, scramble. I'm just going to go over here and turn. Let's do lunge. Uh, lunge ain't gonna do anything here. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Can't hit anything. All right, end turn. That was not great. Okay. So we have lunge and scramble. Unfortunately, we're just gonna kind of get out of the way. I don't know how bad the status effect is, which is maybe a bit of an issue. I could just try and tank it just to see what happens. Let's do it, because I want to do some damage to them. And currently, they're not going to be hitting me. Uh, I have no more energy. I am on fire. If heat is three or more at the end of turn, overheat. Take one hull damage, reset heat to zero. Okay, so it looks like they're going to just be toasting me. Uh... Start with the draw shots. Well, this is going to hurt. But not as bad as it could. Mm -hmm. 
Because I think we need to take him out. This is a situation where I do not benefit. Oh. Well, this works, kind of. Uh, if I do a lunge and then I scramble, we miss. Oh, I should actually see if I can clear... Heat. Maybe. Alright, let's just do a shield surge and just keep shooting them. I mean, we've got this in the bag. We've definitely taken a little bit of damage. I don't think I have any means of... Clearing heat. Oh, did we... Oh, that wasn't lunge. I cast Scramble. Oops. Well, I guess I'll just do a block shot. It's okay. No matter what we do, we win on this round. We only took one damage from that. Not bad, and we do have the healing. So what is this? Oh. Rare card. X is equal to the amount of other cards in your hand. Big damage. Not bad. We also have boost capacitors, which would work really well for that shield scaling. And then there's overdrive. Now I can actually take a look at these. So we can, or overpower, which can be made so it, it no longer exhausts. This one draws or uh, costs more, but does double the damage. So that, I think I'm gonna go for hand cannon just because no brainer. Uh, and I might go for the double damage exhaust just so I can use it to really punch something hard. So you can remove two cards of repair yards, three max haul and heal three on pickup, or Every time an attack misses the enemy by one space, enemy takes one damage. Ooh. I think I might want to go for the Jettison Hatch. But I should have checked the map. No, 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 no. This is fine. Okay. So for starters, let's do a lunge. This is only going to do two damage to us, and we don't have to worry about status effects. So let's just do a temp block shot, and then that. And I have no more energy. I'll definitely have to see if I can get more energy gain. I'm going to give you a card. Cannot be dodged. Get ready. Okay. Well. Let's just go hand cannon because big damage. And then we'll do pulse barrier. Get it out of the pool. <laughs> Riggs literally pulls out a pistol for hand cannon. That's amazing. Okay. So I have two shields. We have trash. That part sucks. I'm trying to think, did we dodge it entirely? And burn a trash? Yeah, let's do that. Unfortunately, I think they're habitually going to just give me... Uh, they're just going to be giving me random garbage. Hoping for a hand cannon. Yeah, so he's just going to be handing me garbage that I don't need. Uh, let's see, do we do we even hurt them? They're not going to be hitting me for much. We've got draw shot. I think we just shoot him because all we have to do is hit him for two damage this round. Uh, and hand cannon solves that problem. Okay. Common, common, and common. So, stun shot. Attack and stun. Cancel the intent of the targeted ship part. That's interesting. Whiplash. Move left. Attack. Move right. Or bolt, which just gives me a free evade. I think I'm going to skip, though. Uh, so, pick an artifact. It looks like these might be... This might be rarer. Every time you discard your discard pile, shuffle back into your draw pile, gain an evade. I like that. Or if you end with more than zero energy, gain a shield. Nope, definitely going for the shuffle, get free evade. Ow, my brain. Ah, oh, you all again. An extra planar being. Neat. What do you value most? Oh, add a card to your draw pile. Ephemeral repairs. Oh, heal for, but it's single use. Damage. Or evasion. I think I might go for the damage, actually. Because we have healing. Being able to just, like, punch the boss. Or just a regular enemy in the face kind of hard. 
Not a bad idea. So, first and foremost, hitting this sucker actually might be a bit of a, a doozy. Hit me for two. We've got hand cannon and pulse barrier. And do we just kill him with ephemeral blast? Yup. Okay. Three shields, so button mash. <laughs> Three shields, move left, evade. We got Vemoose. Instantly move, get a hell of a lot of dodge. Or we could get another draw shot. I think I'm going to keep it limited. Yo, hey, can I get you anything? Repair hull, remove a card, remove two cards. Let me take a look at my deck. Because we could get rid of the two basic shots. Yep. I could upgrade some cards, but I think getting rid of the basic shots, which I rarely use, makes the most amount of sense right now. What a deal. And it's boss time. Riggs, are you picking up any hostile ships on the radar? No, why? My sensors are going crazy over here. Let's see. No, no warp core signatures within a light year. Huh, switching, switching sensors to visual spectrum. Ah, big crystal. Huh? Big crystal. Big crystal! Okay. Uh, let's see. So we don't have anything particularly damaging at the moment. So I'm going to start with hand cannon just because. Uh, and honestly, I'm just going to burn the basic dodge and move to the left. I think I'm just going to have to tank this, but that's okay. Start with hand cannon, block shot, and good enough. Would have liked to do pulse barrier, but can only do that sparingly. Pulse barrier. I don't think we want to move here. So let's do draw shot, see what we get. Well, we get hand cannon, but that doesn't help anybody. So we'll just hit it. I got to get my shields back, but I don't exactly have a whole lot of shield gain here. But that's okay. I wonder if we heal up at the end of every, every biome. That'd certainly be my hope. I'm just gonna go for the shield surge. Okay, so this is why I've been uh, hoarding dodge this entire time. Uh, let's do a lunge. Oh, and now they're not gonna hit me for much. I'll lose the shields. Oh, that was my cockpit, actually. Guess who's a... Oh, goofus. Alright, do we just do a lunge? Let's just avoid that entirely. Okay. Block shot, shield surge. I know it's almost dead, but no sense doing anything super duper risky here. It looks like it's getting punchier as time goes on, which makes sense. Alright. So two max hull, plus eight hull. Okay, so we do heal some. Get a card. So, Endless Magazine. One chip shot at the start of every turn. Chip shot. Zero cost. Uh, zero cost, one damage exhaust. I like that. Attack. Damage equal to total damage of enemy cannon attacks. Parry. Or, think twice. Discard all cards. Draw five cards. Exhaust. Ooh, I like all of them. I kind of like Endless Magazine. I think I like Endless Magazine. So, we also get to pick one boss artifact. If you end your turn with more than zero en energy, your wings will retract and become empty until your next turn starts. Draw two cards every turn. You're offered one less card and boost battle card rewards. You may no longer skip card rewards. Or, tenth time you draw a card, gain one energy. I think I'm going to go with Flywheel. Oh, interesting. Th these are specifically, like, applying to certain characters. Nice, that's the first time you guys managed to beat that thing. Wait, really? How many times have we tried? You don't want to know. What even was it? If these readings are correct, I think it's some kind of time crystal. I've seen microscopic ones in the lab. And in the Cobalt's particle accelerator. But never one so large. Did the microscopic ones try to kill you? Huh. Not in a way that I was able to perceive, no. Let's keep moving. Sick. I like this. It, roguelike de deck builders are, there are a lot of them nowadays, but so many of them don't really do anything with the formula. Having an actual story that matters and carries over between, um, between runs actually makes the runs seem inherently more interesting to me. I have a reason to keep playing this more than just a victory, uh, which is something that I think Hades did particularly well. And I love that they actually 
you know, took that specific or took note of that specific, I guess, storytelling mechanic, eh? uh, manner of storytelling and applied it here. This almost works better because there's a lot more like dialogue right now during the run where the characters are reacting to and responding to what's going on as opposed to in a hub afterwards, which I'm not even sure if that really happens. And so for me, that makes the runs inherently more interesting. I think I'm saying that too much, uh, but I'm I'm being very complimentary here because I think that's cool. Huh, the nav system's taking us through the lawless sector. This zone's full of pirates, thieves, and smugglers. Like the last one wasn't? Everyone should have their sidearms on them at all times, in case we get boarded. Oh, hell yeah, do I get a gun? Everyone but you. Wait, but Riggs, Riggs is the one that we know canonically has a gun at the moment. And anyway, we're going to do a block shot, multi-shot, and shield surge. I could have gone for draw shot, but I kind of don't want to yet. Uh, this... Oh, actually... Shoot. Wait, we have the wings, right? Endless magazine, lunch. And then we're actually just gonna end turn because my wings should retract. Oh no, we didn't pick that one. I'm a goofus, whatever. It's fine. Okay, hand cannon, chip shot. Knees hit me for four. Looks like this guy scales damage. We're just gonna dodge it entirely. Okay, we have no hand cannon. It looks like they're doing more damage. So let's start with chip shot, pulse barrier to get that out of here. They're swinging for four. We have one shield. I could do a block shot and multi-shot. Or we could do multi-shot and scramble and just dodge. Oh yeah, I can't even do basic dodge. We should probably get rid of that at some point. So we actually do like a lot of damage, which is really nice. And yeah, that one bit of healing means that me goofing up is not so bad. So deflection, big shield, nah, skip rewards. Okay. I want to fight an elite. And I also want to fight find artifacts. So I think what we want to do is go up and then zigzag down and then back over. Can I even hit this? If this attack hits you, it'll give you a card. Okay, so we've got two of those. Launch an object. We don't know what it is yet. There's no ship part here, it is empty. All right, and I only have one gun, so I think what we're going to want to do is move to the right, shoot them in the cockpit. I'm going to take one damage and get an object. Oh, hey, you guys again. Wait, Spike? Did we already fight? I don't know. Okay, endless magazine, shield surge, and multi-shot. Oh, dang, they're tanky. Okay. So we have a missile. It's going to do two damage. I have three energy, not much it can really do? I think I might be able to destroy it, too. Can't lunge. Actually, you know what? It's just not going to do enough damage to us. So we're going to do a hand cannon, block shot, chip shot, and then just eat the hits. Looks like they are giving us trash, though, which is I'm not happy about. Oh, at least they cost nothing. Okay, I'm going to move here so it's not focused on my bridge. Chip shot, take out the missile. Block shot, and we'll do a shield surge just to get back up there. Yeah, they're, they're going to be spamming me full of trash, and there is not much I can do about it. But that's okay. Uh, how are we doing this? I've only got two energy here, which makes hand cannon a little rough. I could eat the damage now and punch him hard. I don't hate that. We could also get rid of pulse barrier. Do slightly less damage. Uh, use pulse barrier. Chip shot and get rid of the leak. I mean, yeah, the question is, do I want to do half of his health and damage? That's not even a question. Who cares if I take a hit or two?
because all I need is one more of those. Oh, Seeker Missile. Cannot miss. Good to know. Die. Music on this is pretty solid, too. Uh, ooh, parry? There is also overpower, which is actually slightly tempting. Uh, two damage to all attacks. This scales really well with my, my cheap one-shot cards, especially if I can cast it multiple times. The only immediate problem is things get kind of expensive here. We also have parry. What is magnet? Oh, retain. We also have Deflection A, which ain't terrible, but I'm not keen on it. The Overpower is tempting, if expensive, because I could effectively cycle it a bunch of times. Uh, I just don't know if it's worth it. And Parry's a really good way of dealing one hell of a drub. You know what? I'm going to go for Parry. Okay, so what do we want to do? Do we want to remove cards? Because I could get rid of basic dodge at this point. Because, frankly, I might even want to get rid of Pulse Barrier. I like the idea of it, but I'm not using it. We're using a lot of temp shields here. What's the difference here? Oh. So, that's really cool, actually. Uh, effectively, now I can cast Endless Magazine as many times as I want. I don't know what it's going to look like with my hand, but that... Oh, I should have gone for the strength ups. Oh, well. Bet you won't let us shuffle all your ship parts. Please don't. It'll be fun. Okay. Ship... Are these ship parts? Wait. Or does it mean these? I'm gonna say no. You really think this current layout is optimal? I don't know, but... Having it differently is terrifying. Okay. Part has armor. It takes one less damage from attacks. Okay, so don't shoot the mouth. That's fine. So let's burn Pulse Barrier and get that out of here. It's shooting for my gun and doing two damage. So I think what I'd like to do is multi-shot shield surge. Uh, and just good enough. So this sucker does do a lot of damage. Abyssal Veins. Oh, ouch. Okay, Parts Brittle takes double damage from attacks, but I'm going to have to tank it if I want to. Cool, that's exactly what I want to do. Parry. Oh, that's big hits. This is going to hurt, though, isn't it? Yep. I didn't think that through. Well, ouch. It's fine. Or something. It's not really fine. Okay, we've got... We're not even aimed at them. Uh, I'm just going to pop Scramble. Move two to the left. Unfortunately, he's giving me some random shit. Uh, Abyssal Visions. Kind of sucks. I'm going to need to do basic dodge. Okay, I think we're going to do basic dodge, endless magazine. Dodge twice, completely avoid it. I'll do a shield surge, get back. Okay. Avoid that, use another basic dodge. Unfortunately, he's smaller than I am. And we're getting a lot of those Abyssal Visions, which I'm not keen on. How are we doing this? If 
Because I could hit him a bunch. I think I kind of don't have a choice. Because I only have two dodge here. So we're going to move over. We're going to hand cannon it right in the face. Block shot, chip shot. And then just ouch. This hurts a bunch, but whatever. Chip shot, chip shot. Multi-shot, and is dead. Alright, so that hurt. That wasn't that bad, but it did hurt. Extra battery. Gain three energy exhaust. Refresh interval. Temp block. Gain an energy next turn. Wait, what? I don't really get the point of that one. And then multi-stun. Stuns two parts of the enemy ship. The extra battery is slightly tempting. The only problem is getting this to show up. I think I'm gonna skip. First time you lose hull each turn, gain overdrive. Enter one energy every time you spend three plus playing a card. Or whenever you have no cards, draw a card. That's rare. So let's go for the energy refund. That at least makes parry a little bit more viable. Uh, let's see. Sharp edges. Every time you discard, discard pile is shuffled into your draw pile. Enemy loses one hull. Sure. Hey, who? Welcome to my Emporium of Wondrous Ideas, Traveler. May I offer you one of my creations? These seem absolutely useless. Perhaps they are. Perhaps they are. Okay, so we can give get waltz. Move left, then move back. Buckshot, which actually would be kind of good with the right thing, or lightning in a bottle. Silly as that is, that actually gains me one energy. Sure. I wonder if I can actually upgrade these. Hell yeah, I can. Not much, though. Wait, here's the other question. Can I upgrade something that's already been upgraded? Uh, what has been upgraded? Endless Magazine. No. Dang. Kind of hoping you could actually double upgrade because that would be sweet. Ooh, four damage right off the bat. That's not my favorite position to be in, especially because they're lobbing some missiles at me. And their cockpit is armored. I'm going to move over. Hand cannon. Lunge. I guess do Pulse Barrier, get it out of the mix. We lose our shields, not super keen on that. This hurt. But that's okay. They're not really shooting me, are they? Alright. I guess I could have done lightning in a bottle, but whatever. I don't know what his plan was there. I think dude just kind of schmooves. Alright. Pop lightning in a bottle. Gets me one extra energy. Two? Two extra energy. Sick. Pop shield surge. I guess I'll move. Oh, I shouldn't have moved over. Because we could do a lunge. We could do a scramble. I'm not happy about this. There. At least we got to drub them a bunch. That's a lot of missiles flying my direction. And they're big. Heavy missiles. I could do a parry, but that ain't gonna work. Hmm. Okay. I think we're gonna do basic dodge, move to the left. Hope block shot takes out the missile. And I guess burn a chip shot. Should have done that earlier, but whatever. I can work with that. What do we have? Chip shot, multi shot, shield surge, and four energy. Uh, so let's do draw shot, see what we get. Eh, it's okay. I'm going to want to do scramble. There. 
It'll just hit me for a bit. Hardly an issue. And he's only got 5 HP left, so he's gone. Perfect. Very clean. Scoots. Each... Attack each... Attack for zero. Every time this card is drawn, this fight add two. I actually do kind of like Charge Beam. Especially if we upgrade it. I'm going to have to be careful, though, because we have 13 cards and we really don't want that many. I might want to get rid of Multi-Shot at this point. Multi-Shot and Basic Dodge. I almost clicked No Thanks, and that would have been rough. We don't need to heal. We could upgrade. But I think I'm going to start by removing two. So multi-shot, good as it is, eh. And then basic dodge. Kind of useful sometimes, but... Too much? I don't know. I'm being hailed by a pirate in a cruiser-class warship. Hey, uh, hi, hello? Oh boy. What is it? Put it on screen so we can all see. Sure, uh... Hey, it's you. Huh? I used to be so soft, this should be easy. It's just evil rigs. Okay. Any shot that hits here will cancel this part's intent this turn. Interesting. So those are concussible. This is weak. The only immediate problem is if I move over at all. I've got some options. So we're going to move over. We're going to do lightning in a bottle. Gain a bunch of energy. We've got draw shot. We've got parry, which gets me a bunch of energy back and also just completely slam jams them. Uh, let's see, I'm looking at four or five damage if I stay here. I think we do... Uh, if I do block shots and then lunch. There. We take nothing. Nice to know that they have a weak point, though. Let's see. So what are we doing? I'm looking at down the barrel of two damage, which actually isn't bad. I'm thinking what we do is we just use Shield Surge and Endless Magazine. We want to cycle that a couple of times, so I'm, I'm shivin'. Okay. Now this is where things get a little spicy. Now, I could move to the left, but we're going to have to contend with missiles and a bunch of other junk. We do heal, which is nice. How far would I have to move to get kind of out of harm's way? Because I can... Lunge. And then I think we tank it. Because I do block shot for a little bit of damage. Pulse Barrier to get it out of the way. Chip Shot and Shield Surge. There. So now I've got some shields to play with. Nothing is being specifically targeted. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna move two to the right. We're gonna hit him with Hand Cannon right in the face. In the fleshy bits. I could do a Charge Beam for eight. Wouldn't kill him, though. No. I think we're just going to do one more chip shot. Lunge. Uh, and that's all I've got. But we'll, we won't take any damage here. Now, I do have charge beam. Hit for six. There it goes. Smooth. So we gain more max hull and we heal back up. Think twice. Discard all cards. Draw five cards. I do like that. X is equal to your shield. Overdrive. Or we get another parry. Oh, that's certainly interesting. Oh, so 
this would leave me a little bit of shield left. That's kind of okay. I like the idea of inverter, especially if we go for like this one. I mean, both are good. Otherwise, we go for a second parry. I don't hate it, but I don't like it either. How much do I care about this, though? Because we're not doing... Like, we have spam. With the chip shots. I think I might skip it. We do a ton of damage, but we need to survive ability. So, warp prep, we get more mastery. Three shield, three invade on the first turn. Two cards every turn, but I get less cards and can't skip anything. Max shield on pickup. One shield at the start of every turn. If shield was full, take two, two, take two hull damage. Oh, damn. I wish I could go back, actually. Because now I have a reason to waste it. And no longer being able to skip. Actually, at this point, isn't that bad. Huh, that was interesting. Yeah. You good? Yeah. I can pilot the ship for a while if you need a break. No, really, I'm fine. It's just... She really was me. Perry, tell me honestly. Do you think I'd look cool in a black jacket like that? And her purple eyeliner. So cool. Riggs. I like these characters. They are charming. Entering the question mark zone. So every run is split into three different zones. So this is the final one. It's where the ship has been taking us. What is that? It's the same energy signature as the Cobalt's warp drive, but without containment shielding. And at energy levels that shouldn't be possible. It's pretty. Let's go kill it. Is that our plan? Okay, so how are we doing this? They're shooting me for two in a non-vulnerable spot. And this is the kind that gets kind of stinky at me. We could take it on the nose to pop him with a hand cannon and get an endless magazine out. I don't like that, though. So I think I'm, I'd am i rather set up for long cons. And avoid taking... Well, not avoid taking damage, but set up for long cons. So we do want to get out of here. So let's start with a lightning in a bottle. Give me a bunch of energy. We have a parry. Could hit for four. They don't have any vulnerable bits. But... Burning parry is not the worst idea here. Then we're going to have to get out of the way. Actually, let's do exactly that. Hit them for four. They've still got tons of shields, which is not great. Now, what else do we have? Uh, chip shot. Block shot. I could do a draw shot. Actually, I think we want to. Even if we get stuff like a uh, hand cannon. Let's do that, but just move to the left. Okay, so they do progressively more damage, which, yeah, doesn't surprise me much. That is how they work. So I could do another endless magazine and just try and get out of the way. It's not the worst idea. Otherwise, we could hit him for seven. Nope, just hitting him for seven. Technically, ace. Uh, let's see. And then do we just do the block shot, move to the right? Cool. Yeah, so they're going to get progressively worse. But I think that's fine, because I think we do hand cannon. I've got two... I could just move to the side here. Let's do a chip shot. Let's do an, another endless magazine, then just move clear. Because we're just going to kill him on this turn with a hand cannon. Because we're drawing pretty much our entire deck in one go. Okay, so what is this? Evade, draw, and draw more. Moves... Mm. Oh, I have no choice. Of course, I forgot about that. Now, there's an elite down here if we want to go for it. 
it's tempting. Um, I think we want to go up because this has the least number of encounters. Whereas this would have a lot and fill my deck really fast. So we're going up. Is anyone else getting a really bad headache? Oh, it's the crystal again. Okay. I've oh, obtained two dizzy cards, rigs cards, parry cards, or I don't trust this. So dizzy is shield and attack. Riggs is kind of weird weird and movement. Yeah, no, let's do parry cards. Extra battery. I'll take it. What well, just happened? Energy readings are back to normal. Alright, we get a fight. Okay, so they're raising shields and doing a lot of damage. We're going to move over. Um, so this is extra battery. Gain two energy, one energy next turn. Don't really have any other choice. We're going to parry, though. Let's do an extra battery for our first turn. Let's do a draw shot, see what else we get. Lightning in a bottle. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Endless Magazine and Pulse Barrier. Sounds good to me. Okay, so what are they doing? They're going to hit me with a status effect. I've hit them for a lot already, which I feel pretty good about. Now, I've got four energy here. So let's do a hand cannon. Just punch him down. Block shot. So we don't have to worry about anything. Chip shot. And, I don't know, do a shield surge. Okay, so they... They do on fire. But that's fine because die. Yeah, that extra dodge is worth the extra cards. What is stun charge? Next attacks will stun. That's okay. Or I could get. No, let's go for stun charge. Uh oh. Uh oh. Faulty jump point. We're way too close to a black hole. How close is too close? If we don't jettison something right now, we're in serious trouble. So we can lose pulse barrier, draw shot, extra battery B. Or part of the hull. Ooh. Um. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of tempted to get rid of draw shot at this point. Boop. You think I'd be used to this sort of thing? Howdy. Salutations. Okay. So we have two options here. We can remove re remove two cards, or we could upgrade something, like make it so parry um doesn't go away, which is kind of tempting. You can make it so extra battery gives us more. No, that's not good. Scramble. Nah. Options B is kind of tempting because it lets me draw more cards next turn. Um, as well. Hand cannon. Let's me draw a card. You know, I don't even want to touch it. I think we want to upgrade charge beam. Because it's free and gets stronger every round. Or every time we get it. So rather than being a big hit that we pull out kind of at the end, it's a increasingly stronger hit. Uh, increasingly stronger card. So dodge or one energy every third turn. We're going for that. Craft. Craft. Okay. Uh, so he, he just missile boy. Start with lightning in a bottle. Stun charge, move to the left. Do a block shot, stun that missile. Endless magazine, pulse barrier, and shield surge. Okay, attack drone, mark two. You would say two damage shot once per turn. Oh, that's rude. Okay, so I think we're gonna do. No, we can't. Move over, then we do lunge. This thing needs to die. I still can't hit him. Do the extra battery, scramble, move over. We did have options. I think I'm gonna just do options, charge beam, and a block shot. Okay, so what's this missile? Seeker missile, two damage, cannot miss. I don't think I care too much. I think instead we're gonna lead with hand cannon just to really shred that shield. Move over one. Stun charge, chip shot. Take that off. Charge beam, which gets progressively stronger. Keep doing options, because it turns out that's actually busted. And then more endless magazine. 
All right, we've done a decent chunk of damage to him. We've got hand cannon for nine, and he's not that tough. I think we just go for the kill. Because, yeah, we're drawing pretty much our entire hand. What was this ship? The Evolutionary Perfection. <laughs> stun shot. Uh, let's see. Attack, and the next attack will also stun. Huh. Tempting. Otherwise, we get more options. I like more options. Because we can kind of spam that. What the hell's going on with this thing? Okay. It's going to corrode itself. Messy. Start with that. Move over. It's going to hurt if I let it hit me. So I think we'll want to move over one more time. Unfortunately, I think I'm just going to take some damage here. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, hand cannon. Endless magazine. Charge beam. And then options. Just move. I'm going to have to take it. Up. So I'll take two here. I think the play here, because we have lunge, we could move to the right. I think that's what I'm going to do. In a bit. So let's do a stun charge. Oh. Okay, that opens things up a little bit. Let's play options B. I don't think we do a lot of damage here, so there's, yeah, not much for it. So I think we should get rid of pulse barrier. Get that free and clear. I want to save that. Oh, I already did the stun shot. That's fine. Pick that up. Move back. We still have lunge. Uh, oh, shit. I could have parried him. Oh, well. Too late now. Oh, actually, we could just stay here. In retrospect, save our dodge. Let's just do those two. Okay, hand is full, 10 cards. Interesting. So let's move back. We have parry. That did not do as much damage as I was hoping it would do. Ah, uh, Grabo. We've done a lot of damage to him. It's just not quite enough for what I want to do. I'll save that. Can I hit him at all? Yeah, I should... Could have done this a smidge better. Oh, well. I'm gonna do options. Move. Stun. Take no damage. Everything else is good. And it keeps corroding itself. It does also keep getting tougher. We got two movement. We're just gonna get out of the way. We're gonna hit him over here instead. Pop extra batteries. Just give, give myself some stuff here. Let's see. Probably give myself a ton of dodge and then stun charge, but I think that's going away. Okay, let's move back to the right. Hand is full, but it doesn't matter because he's quite dead. I might be, might have been able to take him out a little faster, but whatever. Uh, shield gun. That's okay. That's better. But I'd have to upgrade it. Because I do give myself a lot of temp shields. This one's mildly tempting. 
but it's effectively a pass it forward thing. So let's go shield gun. Piercer, first attack each turn pierces. Tempting. On pickup, your missile bay gains armor. Or whenever you have no cards, draw. I think we're going to go for piercer because that's often going to be hand cannon. Okay, so what do we want to do an upgrade? I could get rid of two cards, which is lightly tempting. We have a lot of temp cards that I don't need. We might want to get rid of something like Lunge, but I kind of like Lunge. Uh, um, we could also get rid of Scramble. No. We're going to upgrade the shield gun. They often have some temp shields to work with. Is this our final waypoint? It is. The cobalt is embedded in that singularity. Are we ready? Don't look so nervous, guys. Hey, Cat, how many times have we been here before? Zero. Oh. You guys will do great. Good luck in there. What do you mean? We can't fight the cobalt while it's inside that singularity. Someone needs to bring it out. I'm uploading myself into the cobalt now. Bye. Well, hold on. There's probably some other way to accomplish that. And she's already gone. And evil! Alright, so, looking at this now... Uh... We've got a couple of options here. None of them are... Gr mm. Okay, so this is rough. Because I have a parry. Now, we have an extremely stupid option here. Where I cut to the right and parry for 26 damage. How many shields do they have? Four. Eight. Oh. Um. That would do only nine damage to their hull, but it would take off all of their shields. It's tempting. But no. I think we're just going to... Cut left instead. Harry. Let's see. And I think we just do a block shot. We'll take no damage. We will lose our shields. Oh, but it was it was a piercing shot. Hell yeah. Okay, let's go for the extra battery because I think we're going to need it here. Actually, I'm not even sure if we have much of a choice. No, we do. Stun charge, hand cannon. I think I'm gonna save that. Endless magazine, options, charge beam. Can't do lightning in a bottle. And I'm gonna take two damage here. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh, we get some trash too. Stinky. But that's fine. Okay, so we have charge beam, lightning. Let's start with... Do we start with lightning in a bottle? We have a lot of energy. I don't know. I might actually want to wait on that one. Um, how do you You don't have a stun or anything. So I think I'm going to cut left. We're going to be taking four damage here, which I'm not keen on because I don't have a whole lot of shields to work with. Uh, well, one way or another, starting with hand cannon... Endless Magazine. We have Lunge, but I don't think we want that. Options. Charge Beam. Chip Shot. And, uh... Balls. I misjudged that. That hurts. Okay. Well, Lightning in a Bottle. Get rid of that. Let's see. Here we have Scramble, a lot of trash, nothing useful. Let's just move over. We're kind of in a safe spot here. Stun Charge, Block Shot, worry about nothing. Another Endless Magazine. Pulse Barrier and Trash. Not my favorite situation, but... Like, at this point... 
I think we kill. We don't quite kill. But we also don't take that much damage. I'll play options, just because. Turns out shield gun's kind of useless on this build. So be it. Burn trash. Okay, there goes all of its shields. And... I'm just gonna move here. We'll take two, but it's only got two HP left. It'll trash me up, but who cares? Eh, a couple of misplays, but ultimately, uh, that's fine. What do we have? Kill it with block shot. That was a freaking good run. And big ups. Runs are an hour long. I love that. Most roguelike deck builders are so freaking long. They're like two hours a run and it feels like your build really doesn't change after the first like section and a half and it takes forever to get rolling. This one is paced incredibly well and still has a story, which is more than most can say. What's happening? Systems report. The Cobalt went critical. We're exposed to the core singularity. All the emergency blast doors closed? Oh, are they all closed? Yes, but we can't sustain this. The hull's literally melting. Come on, man. We beat the Cobalt. What else were we supposed to do? Hello. Who's hailing us? Identify yourselves. Yeah, make it snappy. We have like 30 seconds left, max. Hello, broken ones. Your poor shattered time streams. I can help you, but there are other souls tangled in this time, lo time knot. Do you mean Isaac and Max? And two others. Now, who shall I repair first? Dizzy, Riggs, Perry. I like Riggs and Riggs's cars. Fixin' Riggs. What is this? Be still. You mentioned a broken time stream. Is that like my past? Is that why so many of my memories are hazy? Yes, you more than any. Now be still. Okay. Memory 1. T minus 124 days. Cobalt STC. This is the G72 Artemis requesting permission to dock. Copy G72 Artemis. State your cargo and passenger roster. Cargo, sh cargo sheet lists 30 tons of water, 10 tons of rations, and 2 tons of scientific equipment. Copy. Proceed to docking port 5. Please sign here, and here, and here. Who are who are you? What happened to the last delivery pilot? I'm Riggs. I just started today. The last pilot got spooked by some, pirates, uh, by some pirates along the route, so he quit. So they installed a cannon on the Artemis and hired me. And you know how to handle yourself in combat? I do, yeah. Good. And you'll be the pilot for our regular deliveries from here on out. Unless they get blown up. Alright, that's cute. Okay, so here's all my cards, artifacts, seed, oh, seed number. I thought this is a dollar sign at first and I got confused. <laughs> yeah, it was hard mode too. So we still got quite a lot of cards to find, artifacts to find, map events to find, and memories to unlock. And we have also unlocked Isaac and the Ares ships. Let's take a look at those before we dive in. Uh, Isaac, engineer, his cards create and manipulate mid-row objects like drones and missiles. Okay, so let's swap out Perry for Isaac and take a look. So what else do we need? 40 different artifacts to unlock this ship. Uh, so we're actually kind of on the way. We do need to make sure that we mix and match. Uh, win a run without Dizzy, Riggs, or Perry. Yeah, and then win 10 times. I'm curious what normal mode is like. Oh, okay. Hard mode. Events are harder. Start combat with a weak cockpit. Plus one basic shot. Uh basic shot and less pre-upgraded card offerings and lower HP. So yeah, hard is definitively harder. I'm curious to see how these go. Uh, one less max hull gain from boss skills. Elites only offer two artifacts. Start with half your hull missing. Most enemies are harder. You know what? Let's go explode. Draw one last card every turn. Your inactive cannon is armored. At the start of your turn, if you don't have a toggle cannon in your hand, gain one. And then one shield and evade on the first turn. A nimble warship with two cannons which are manually toggled. Well, let's go blow up. I'm just going to take a look at this ship real quick. Core OS corruption. Must rewrap power. Please select boot option. Lose two max hull. Gain debris. Lose a max shield. Ouch. Uh, I'd gain the debris, maybe? 
Okay, remove a card, then gain one of three commons. Upgrade two random cards to type B, or let's remove a card. Get out of here, Debris. So what do we get? Big shield, space mine, launch an object, space mine, destroying it will damage its destroyer for two. I think I'm gonna go big shield. Okay, hey all, crowd sleeps over, you know the drill. Ah, uh, where am I? Hey, it's Isaac. Who's Isaac? Oh right, memories. Uh, do you remember anything before the incident? I'm a drone specialist, I think. Good enough. Okay, and we're in combat. So what is this? Brittle. Double damage from all attacks. Yeah, that's fun. Where do I shoot from? So I've got a missile bay, a cannon, but that one's inactive. Uh, well, we could drop the attack drone. Sick. All right. And then I think I'm just going to wait there. They're just going to blow up my attack drone, but that's fine. What is this? Let's you move all mid-row objects left or right. Oh, interesting. But also kind of useless to me. Cannot permanently be removed. Corrupted core. Rude. Toggle cannon, but there's not really much of a reason to toggle a cannon. So we will just wait. Yeah, extra hard mode is uh, definitively tougher. I'll give it that. Uh, let's see. Do we got? Draw shot. I guess I'll start with draw shot. It gives me some options. Hit me for three. But I think I'm just going to toggle it so we take less damage. Unfortunately, they've got armor and I haven't even touched it yet. Toggle a cannon. Shoot him in the face. Get some other stuff and we'll wait. Yeah, I think we need to get the drones out. Otherwise, we're just genuinely going to be in trouble. Uh, let's see. Move over. Shields up. What if going over cap on shields nets you anything? Probably not enough. Oh, I see. I was kind of hoping... Oh, wait, no, 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 I didn't need to use that. Okay, so we have an attack drone. I think what we do is we shoot them twice and then dump the attack drone, which should attack and then get gets blown up, blocks the hit for me. We got plenty of shields, so we don't need to worry too much about this. I'm just going to do that and none of it matters. So now I can move my drones freely. Oh, that's really cool. Oops. Well, bugger me. All right, let's just get out of the way. <laughs> I forgot where my drone bay was. Uh, well, it's fine. Redemption, we've killed it. I like the uh, drone setup. I like the different ships. Uh, this one's definitely... This, way, this one's way more interesting. Uh, gain one shield, plus one for every time played this combat. I like stuff like momentum. They're kind of fun. Especially if I get the B option. A or B options. Both of those are great. Uh, but yeah, I think this game's super slick. The... The different, like, deck options that arrive based on each character. Like, each one of them has a card pool to gain at the end of every fight, uh, giving you a lot of different options to uh, mix and match into your into your ship, which I think is sweet. Uh, the Also, the, like, character lore, the dialogue, the responses to things. Like, they're super charming. Riggs is kind of a goofball, and I don't know anything about Isaac or really Dizzy and Perry. They were kind of just there. Uh, whereas Dizzy definitely was a little bit more prominent on that last run. And even the ships, like, there's so many different configurations to make this interesting. I don't know if this necessarily is going to have the same level of infinite replayability of other roguelike deck builders, but it has more than enough to actually be worth playing a lot more than a lot of them. Like, truly, I have this problem when I play roguelike deck builders where I beat a run, and I'm like, I don't think I'm ever going to get a better run than that. And then I stop, and I don't play anymore. Uh, because why? You know, I've I've already maxed that out. I already finished it, and so by having a interweaving, uh, like interweaving the story into the gameplay, actually makes a roguelike more interesting in this moment. Most of the time, I'm kind of iffy on story in roguelikes, but I think they handled it really well because it also isn't too much. It's mostly just characters saying a thing or two here, plus like a fun cutscene at the end, uh, Gungeon style, I suppose. And so that's there for people that want that. But then also the gameplay is solid. Uh, being able to attack different components and stun them and block and armor sections and brittle and others and like all of that has so many different potential... 
it presents so many different potential factors for tactical gameplay uh, that just isn't present in most other games in the genre. And so that also is super cool. I will probably play more of this on my own or maybe on stream at some point. I'm not entirely sure. My schedule is a nightmare. But I should probably say uh, that Cobalt Core is coming out on, on, well, I guess today, on November 8th. It's 20 bucks normally, and it's going to be down uh, 10% for launch week. And it's going to be coming out on PC and Switch. And I will have a link in the description below for both of those. And according to the devs, uh, the full story is about 25 to 35 hours. So roughly 25 to 35 runs, depending on how well you win. Uh, my recommendation is play a couple of times, beat it on hard at least once to unlock the new ship, and then just cruise forward on whatever difficulty you want. Um, uh, the one thing to say, though, is if you did play the demo during the Steam Next Fest, unfortunately your save file does not carry over in case you were hoping that was true. Uh, but I think with all that said, I guess one last thank you to Rocket Rat Games and Brace Yourself Games for sponsoring this video. It was very kind of you and a ton of fun. And if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. It helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.